is Libby and this is Rosie. I'm Meredith and Mason is filming. Um, and today we are going to learn about Paul when he was on his journey to meet Paul. Jesus. And we're gonna play we're gonna play red light green light. Are you ready? <gasps> okay, so fun. Okay. Is he? Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. Uh green light. Red light, stop! Stop! Oh, stop! 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 stop. Uh, yellow light, spin in a circle. Ooh. Red light, stop! Oh, I'm a little dizzy. Okay, green light, go, go, go! Go, go, go! Come on, Rosie! Come on, Rosie! Come on, Rosie. Red light, stop! Uh, blue light, jump up and down. Uh, red light, stop. Stop. Red light means stop. Red light, stop. Stop. And green light, go. Okay, you made it. Good job, guys. So today's lesson is going to come from uh, Acts 8 and 9. So let's get ready to listen to God's word. Bye. Bye. After Jesus died, rose from the dead, and ascended to heaven, people in Jerusalem who believed in Jesus were persecuted or treated cruelly because of their faith. One of Jesus' followers, Stephen, was even killed. A man named Saul had watched in approval when Stephen was killed. Saul wanted to put an end to the church. He went into the believers' homes, dragged them out, and put them in jail. Many believers fled the city. Saul headed to Damascus to arrest believers there, but on the way, a bright light from heaven suddenly flashed around him. Saul fell to the ground. He heard a voice saying, Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting me? Who are you, Lord? Saul asked. I am Jesus, he replied. Get up and go into the city, then you will be told what you must do. Saul got up and opened his eyes, but he couldn't see. So the men who were traveling with Saul led him by the hand into Damascus. Ananias, a disciple of Jesus, lived in Damascus. The Lord spoke to Ananias in a vision. He told Ananias to go to the house where Saul was staying. Ananias knew that Saul had hurt many believers and that he arrested anyone who believed in Jesus. But the Lord said, Go, I have chosen this man to take my name to Gentiles, kings, and Israelites. Ananias obeyed. He found Saul and told Saul that Jesus had sent him to help. Ananias put his hands on Saul and Saul could see again. Saul got up and was baptized. Huh. For the next few days, Saul stayed with the believers in Damascus. He began to go to the synagogues to preach about Jesus. Saul told the people, Jesus is the Son of God. The people were amazed. They recognized Saul and knew he had wanted to put an end to the church. Now he was one of them. The Jews did not like Saul's message. They planned to kill him, so one night, Saul left the city. The disciples helped Saul escape by lowering him down the city wall in a basket. Saul was also known as Paul. Jesus appeared to Saul and changed him inside and out. 
Jesus Christ came into the world to save sinners. Jesus called Paul, who was once an enemy to Christians, to spend the rest of his life telling people the gospel and leading them to trust in Jesus. Hey everyone, today we heard about a man named Paul who started out not on Jesus' team and ended up being um, one of the greatest, um, most traveled missionaries ever in history. And so um, while I'm asking you some questions about today's story from um, the book of Acts, you can get a piece of paper and we're going to draw um, Paul's path to Jesus. So you can see, you can just draw it any way you want, lots of zigs and zags and wandering around because um, some people, when they hear about Jesus the first time, accept Jesus in their heart right away. But for other people, their path to Jesus takes them all over the place. And that's definitely true um, of Paul's life. So let me ask you some questions. You can answer them to me, to your grown up, to your pet. Um, whoever. So while you are drawing, you can also be answering these questions. So who worked hard in the early days of the church to stop people from telling about Jesus? Paul. His name then was Saul, but it was the same man. He was against people telling about Jesus. So then Paul was going on a trip to stop some more people from talking about Jesus, but who did he meet while he was traveling along? Yeah, Paul met Jesus. Jesus had already ascended back into heaven, so Jesus wasn't walking around on earth with his disciples anymore, but you can see on my ziggy zaggy path, if I zoom in really close, you can see that a bright light shone and a voice from heaven spoke, and it was Jesus. So Paul didn't meet him face to face, person to person on the road, but Jesus' presence stopped Paul on the road. And when they met, what did Jesus ask Paul? He said, Paul, why are you against me? So in the meantime, what did God tell Ananias he had planned for Paul? Ananias was someone who believed in Jesus. So he would not have been a big fan of Saul turned Paul because Paul was his enemy. But God spoke to Ananias and told him something about Paul. What was that? God said that he had chosen Paul to tell many people about him. Why were people so amazed when Paul said that Jesus is the Son of God? Yeah, because he had been an enemy of Jesus, but now he loved Jesus. So hopefully on your map, you added Paul and you added where he met Jesus. And then if you want, at the end of his journey, you can write that he told many people about Jesus. And that's the great news. Jesus meets us wherever we are, wherever we are. And his love is always bigger than whatever we've done in the past. Even though Paul was against him, God's love changed him and he became Jesus' biggest fan. So I hope you remember that as Jesus saved Paul from his sins, he will save us too. And not just that, but he will fill us with his love and we can share it with everyone we know. When we trust in Jesus, he changes us from the inside out. I will see you next time.